Hello and welcome to another episode of the Infobots Podcast. This is episode number 77 and I am your host, author Frederick Fishman. And today we are sponsored by me. So for all the links to my books, apparel, and gear, go to my main Infobots website at infobots.com, spelled with two T's at the end, infobots.com. You can also help us out and show your support by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Infobots podcast. And please check out our new educational membership website and numerous elements, multimedia elements about the animal kingdom. And that's at www.animals, that's plural, animals hyphen central.com. That's animals dash central.com. Now, here are two bits of news that you can listen to our podcast now on YouTube, but there's no video, of course, in a podcast, but just the audio track. But I know that some of you are hooked on YouTube, so I thought I'd put up this podcast there as well. So just go to YouTube and go to the search bar and type in the word Infobots, two T's again, please, into the search bar and you will see it. Secondly, on our animals-central.com membership site, I have added a new feature that is available to you as well, and that is called My Favorite Animal. I've started an internet voicemail site where you can leave a message describing your favorite animal. Each file can be no more than 90 seconds, and leave your first name in your city and the name of the animal you really like and why. And that's it. Okay, today we are starting a week-long series of the best-known animals on the Indian subcontinent that are known worldwide and famous worldwide. I'll take a look at the downloads and see if there are any good numbers coming out of there and see how many people are interested and i've got it scheduled for a week but i may stretch it further depending upon your response what do you say we get started Bengal tiger is a tiger from a specific population of subspecies that is native to the Indian subcontinent. It is threatened by poaching and loss and fragmentation of habitat and was estimated to comprising fewer than 2,500 wild individuals by 2011. None of the tiger conservation landscapes within its range is considered large enough to support an effective population of more than 250 adult individuals. India's tiger population was estimated from 1,700 to 1,900 individuals in 2010, but by 2018, Through conservation efforts, the population had increased to an estimated 2,600 to 3,300 individuals. There are about 300 to 500 tigers estimated in Bangladesh, between 220 and 274 in Nepal, and 103 tigers in Bhutan. The tiger is estimated to be present on the Indian subcontinent since the late Pleistocene era for about 20,000 to 16,000 years ago. The Bengal tiger ranks among the biggest wild cats alive today. It is the national animal of both India and Bangladesh and it used to be called the Royal Bengal Tiger. Bengal tigers weigh up to 717 pounds and reach a head and body length of around 130 inches. 
The tiger is a carnivore. It prefers hunting large ungulates such as chital, sambar, guar, and to a lesser extent, barashinga, I'm sure I butchered that pronunciation, water buffalo, nilgai, saro, and takins. Among the medium-sized prey species it frequently kills include wild boar, and occasionally hog deer, Indian munchak, and gray langur. Small prey species such as porcupines, hares, and peafowl form a very small part in its diet. Because of the encroachment of humans into the tiger habitat, it also preys on domestic livestock. Bengal tigers occasionally hunt and kill predators such as Indian leopard, Indian wolf, Indian jackal, fox, crocodile, Asiatic black bear, sloth bear. They rarely attack adult Indian elephants and Indian rhinoceros, but such extraordinary rare events have been recorded. The Indian subcontinent has served as a stage for intense human and tiger confrontations. The region affording habitat where tigers have achieved their highest density is also which has housed one of the most concentrated and rapidly expanding human populations. The illicit demand for bones and body parts from wild tigers for use in traditional Chinese medicine is the reason for the unrelenting poaching pressure on tigers on the Indian subcontinent. For at least a thousand years, tiger bones have been an ingredient in traditional medicines that are prescribed as muscle strengthener and treatment for rheumatism and body pain. Between 1994 and 2009, the Wildlife Protection Society of India has documented 800 and 93 cases of tigers killed in India, which is just a fraction of the actual poaching and trade in tiger parts during those years. In 2004, all the tigers in India's Sariska Tiger Reserve were killed by poachers. In 1973, Project Tiger was launched aiming at ensuring a viable tiger population in the country and preserving areas of biological importance as a natural heritage for the people of India. The project's task force visualized these tiger reserves as breeding nuclei from which surplus animals would disperse to adjacent forests. The Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 enables government agencies to take strict measures as to ensure the conservation of the Bengal tiger. The World Wildlife Foundation, with actor Leonardo DiCaprio, formed a global campaign called Save Tigers Now, with the ambitious goal of building political, financial, and political support to double the wild tiger population by 2022. Save Tigers Now has started its campaign in 12 different WWF tiger landscapes. So now you know. Thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Infobots podcast. Please support our efforts to bring you a new Infobots. Go to patreon.com forward slash Infobots podcast. Join us again for another episode of Infobots. Bye-bye.